hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem solution we have a multiplied by a multiplied by a over a plus a plus a equal to 6 okay from here, you have um, a times a times a will give a to the power of 3, and this is over 3a. So this will be equal to 6. Okay, and then from here, what can we do? We can, you know, separate this, or better still, multiply both sides by 3. So we have 3 multiplied by a to the power of 3 over 3a equal to 3 multiplied by 6. So that this will go with this. And now a to the power of 3 over a is equal to 18, right? Because 3 times 6 is 18. And then from here, we're going to apply this if you have a... Okay, let me use x now, x to the power of n over x. This is the same thing as x to the power of n minus 1. Okay, this is the same because we, hope, we know that here there's an invisible one there. So that you have x to the power of n minus 1. Pick one of the bases. And subtract the powers. So I will pick a and then have 3 minus 2. Okay, it's 3 minus 1 rather. And this is giving me 18. Let me write it better. We have a to the power of 3 minus 1, which is equal to 18. Now we have three, um, a to the power of 2 to be equal to 18, right? And then from here, what should we do? We are going to take the square root of both sides. Take the square root of both sides. But when taking square root, we have positive or negative value on the right. So this can go with this. So that a will be equal to plus or minus square root of 18. And we can break this 18 down because... Our a is going to be 18 is 9 multiplied by 2. And 9 is a perfect square. So a now will be plus or minus. Square root of 9 is 3. And then we have root 2. Okay, so this is to say that a is equal to 3 root 2 or negative 3 root 2. Now, I would like to work with the first value of a and see if it's going to satisfy the, the equation. Okay, so let's go there. Okay, so I'm going to write it over here very quickly. Okay, so the original equation is here. And it is a multiplied by a multiplied by a over a plus a plus a. Now, would this give me 6? This implies that if we are putting this, we're having 3 root 3. Okay, 3 root 2 multiplied by 3 root 2 multiplied by 3 root 2. And this is over 3 root 2 plus 3 root 2 plus 3 root 2 okay so to continue we're going to multiply 3 times 3 times 3 that will give us 27 then we have 2 root 2 okay this is going to give us root 8 root 2 times root 2 times root 2 will give us root 8 and this will now be over from here we're going to divide this by 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9, right? 
So we have 9, then we have root 2. So this is 9 root 2. Now we're going to continue, right? By the way, 9 can go there 3 times. So we have 3 root 8 over root 2. But we are still trying to check whether this, the whole of this is going to give us um, 6. So the next thing we'll do is to break 8 down. And we're going to have 3 root 4 times 2. And this is over root 2, right? Now, this implies that we are having 3 times 2, and we shall have root 2. Because square root of 4 is 2. Then this, this is times, right? And everything is over root 2. This will go with this right away. And then we have um, 3 times 2 is giving us 6. So we have 6. This means that the first value of x, which is um, 3 root 2, is very satisfying. Right? Now let's go and try the second value, which is negative 3 root 2. Okay, so we're going to enter um, negative 3 root 2, right? So we have uh, negative 3 root 2 multiplied by negative 3 root 2 multiply multiply by negative 3 root 2 and this is over negative 3 root 2 plus open bracket negative 3 root 2 plus negative 3 root 2 now will the whole of this give me um 6 first of all we have minus 3 times minus 3 times minus 3 that will give negative 27 right right then when we multiply the whole of this like we did before we're going to have root 8 then this will be over now, this means that we're having negative here. So we're having negative 3. This will turn to negative. So we have negative 3 as well. This will turn to negative. We have negative 3. And that will give us negative 9. And then we have root 3. Root 2, rather. Now, the negative can cancel the negative. And we'll be having 27 divided by 3 divided by 9 is 3 root 8. And this is over 2, root 2. Remember, at some point, we were here, right? So this will now be 3 into bracket 4 multiplied by 2 over root 2. Now, this is square root of 4, and it's 2. So we have 3 multiplied by 2. Then we have root 2 all over root 2. Root 2 will cancel root 2. And then we have 3 times 2, which is 6. So this means that both of the value, which is 3 root 2 and then minus 3 root 2, are satisfying the equation. Thank you for watching.